Okay, today we're making, this is our first video on cooking some stuff. This is gonna be a quick and easy Bananas Foster. So this is really about Bananas Foster sauce. It's super easy, but you can put it on pancakes, French toast. Little Roxy here wants waffles this morning. So we're gonna have Banana Foster's waffles. So you can see we got all our ingredients up there. We got our pancakes, and we know we're not advertising for Kroger's, but it is all Kroger brand stuff. We got our pancake mix, which also does waffles. And you got your oil, your butter, your whipped cream to top it with, and some brown sugar. And we have a nice banana here to cut up. So all we're going to do first is just mix up the waffle mix according to Kroger's waffle recipe. Like I said, you can do it with pancakes, you can do it with French toast. My wife likes French toast the best. So that's what we're going to be using. It calls for two cups, or a cup and a half of water, two cups of their mix. We're just going to dump that in. And it also has to have two tablespoons of oil for the waffle part so it doesn't stick. Roxy, you're under my arm, honey. And we got that. You're going to help me, Roxy? We got some. I got some up on there. Yeah, we'll get it off. Mommy likes cleaning off my mess after cooking. Uh -uh. Make sure if you're doing waffles, you turn your waffle iron on so it gets warmed up before you get going. Doing French toast, anything like that. Obviously, those are pretty easy just to pan cook. So, we're gonna mix this up real good. We'll see if it fluffs. And if you make a mistake, you can always add more, thicken it up with more uh, pancake oh, yeah. mix if you think it's too thin when it comes out. So, that's our waffle. Now, we gotta do the bananas foster. I gotta move some stuff out of the way here. Turn on a light. Okay, we're gonna use a front burner, Roxy. I gotta get a pan for that, Banana Foster's. We got a pan, it's nice and clean. We're gonna open the banana. Like Peel the banana. banana, Roxy. Peel that up. So Banana Foster, you can get as deluxe as you want, or as easy as you want. We're gonna do the simplest one. You can always add vanilla and other things to it, but basically you're gonna heat up some butter. It's kind of like making uh, sweet potatoes on the holidays. So Except these cook in like 30 seconds. <laughs> so you can cook it on high to get it going real fast because you really want to just brown the bananas. They're going to get soft fast. So now we're going to cut the banana. Get that little brown piece <laughs> out. So a little cutting tip for people if you've never cut before. So you don't cut yourself. Keep your fingers bent. Put the knife against your knuckle. And then as you cut downward, you're not going to hit your finger. And you just move your finger back and run it up and down your knuckle. So you like cut pretty it. quick. It's so like now coming we're all cut out up. of it. Our butter's getting nice and warm. Doesn't have to be totally hot. Like I said, this is a simple one. And you go to fancy <laughs> restaurants, they do more to it. But like I said, you can put vanilla, nutmeg, you can do cinnamon with it. My wife doesn't like cinnamon so much, so we're not going to do that. I like cinnamon. Look, I put a little bit for you. So this is what would be like a 15 minute breakfast. We're going to get that going. We're going to come over here. Now my waffle iron says it's ready. We're going to open it up. Now, people do spray grease on these. You usually don't have to until it gets older and you start scratching it. As long as it's hot, it should go. And we're just going to dump it in one layer. Whoa. And if it overflows, that's okay. We gotta make sure we got enough. We're gonna catch all the overflow on the bottom. There's a little tray. Turn it around so it all goes in there and then let it cook. And the green light will come on when it says it's ready. And over here we got the foster still going good. I got it on high. We really want to get that butter kind of searing. I think it's been cooking for about a minute now. Like I said, but it's like sweet potatoes, but sweet potatoes you'd cook for a long time. These are only going to cook for literally like a minute, maybe two. Just enough to get it kind of softened and get some of that butter flavor in there. And there we go. That's about it. Just enough to get them soft. You want to go too long or it'll turn into mush. Daddy, so that one We're going to add some brown sugar there. That's going to make our sauce. The brown sugar melts real fast. You can use dark brown sugar. You can use light. Basically, the difference between light and dark brown sugar is the amount of molasses in it. And my kids like them all, so any brown sugar works. And we're just going to get that sugar really hot and it makes a syrup on its own. Mm -hmm. And 
and you can do this with apples. Apples you're gonna cook a little oh longer, basically. Yeah. Depending on the fruit you're using is how long it has to cook. So we're done already. That's our sauce. We'll set that aside. It's like making fresh jelly. Get our whipped cream open. You don't have to have whipped cream. My kids like whipped cream, so on their breakfast. And Foster's usually goes with cream. Then get a spoon. Another plate. Silver for Roxy. Spoon for the whipped cream. And you can put syrup on this too if you want. We're waiting for our little waffle iron here to go to ready. It usually takes about two and a half minutes. All this stuff coming on the outside, you don't need it. It's just overflow, that'll happen. Like I said, if it doesn't come out thick enough, you can always thicken up the, uh, or fluffy enough, you can thicken up the batter with uh, more powder. Just do a little at a time because it goes real thick real fast. You can put vanilla or something in your waffle mix if you want. Make it a little sweeter. And then maybe in another video I'll show you some other cool ones we do at hotels. We put the, when we're traveling, we'll do the waffles that they have at the hotels and we put a flavor of the oatmeal packs in there like a peach oatmeal or peaches and cream and you mix it all in and when you cook it, you get a peach flavored waffle, which is really cool. So we'll let this keep going. It's almost done. Like I said, if you put grease in there once, you kind of got to keep doing it. So again, you just pull these off. Sugar on okay, it. we're putting the stuff on her. The camera shut off there for a minute, so we just had to go back to it. So this is what it comes out like, and like I said, this is your syrup and everything. And then uh, Roxy doesn't want whipped cream on her, so we're gonna do two with whipped cream on the little hearts up here. Yeah. And oh, guys. <laughs> there's our banana Foster's quick breakfast. Okay. Start to finish was probably about 12 hey, minutes. Hey, somebody cannot wait already. <laughs> And Roxy's already checking it out. We're going to do another one. Yeah. And like, if you like us, make sure you like and share and uh, share subscribe. Up. Like I said, it's our first video and I can do a whole bunch more stuff that's really <laughs> short, quick, <laughs> easy food at home that you can get at a restaurant. Thank you very much.